We know that agriculture can benefit from biocontrol services provided by natural enemies of crop pests. And we know that these natural enemies require resources such as food and shelter, which are scattered in space and time within agricultural landscape. And what we see is actually that this agricultural landscape are not static, they are highly dynamic. They are the result of continuous changes in agricultural practices. And such changes are bringing a transformation of the landscape in terms of composition, meaning the area of grassland, cropland, forest, etc., but also in terms of structure, so the spatial pattern of these landscape elements and the connection between them. Such changes can directly influence the resource availability for natural enemies and the disturbance levels they are subject to, and consequently, the biocontrol potential they can provide. However, what we don't know is what are the consequences of these land cover changes for natural enemy complex across agricultural landscapes, and what is actually the potential of this natural enemy complex for the suppression of crop pests. This kind of information is scarce and is even more scarcer in sub-Saharan Africa compared to Europe of Northern America. To answer these questions, we choose as a study landscape the Rift Valley region of Ethiopia, and we assess the changes in land use and landscape structure over the last 30 years by a triangulation of methods an analysis of the satellite images, participatory mapping and focus group discussion with farmers, and a review of secondary literature. To assess the density of natural enemies, we set up pitfall and yellow pan traps in maize fields, bordered by NSET or JAT or different type of edgerows, dense and simple, and these at different distances at 1, 10 and 30 meters. The result of the landscape analysis indicated that the landscape in the study area changed from maize-dominated to more small-scale and fragmented agroecosystems with higher proportion of perennial crops. We found that maize fields adjacent to complex edgerows or NSET were hosting significantly higher predator densities than maize fields adjacent to chat or simple edgerows. And the further away we were going from the border, the lesser amount of predators were found. However, the abundance of parastoids and parasitic flies were not influenced by border type. The findings suggest that the changes in land use and landscape structure may have influenced the capacity of the landscape to support population of natural enemies in different ways. On the one hand, smaller field sizes resulted on more field borders which may support higher amount of predator densities. On the other hand, the area of chat increased and the area of insect decreased, which may have a negative effect on predator densities. Therefore, the overall outcome of the landscape changes for natural enemy abundance and the associated potential for stem control will depend on the interplay of these opposing effects.